Hello everyone. I am Arpit Anush Matthews and today we are going to learn present perfect tense. In our last lecture we have already learned on present indefinite tense and present continuous tense. So today we are going to take the topic present perfect tense. So in the picture you can see a man is walking and the sentence is he has completed the running. The task is completed by the man. So in the another picture we can see she has just watered the plants. She has just watered the plants. So we can say that the task is given by the girl is completed. Okay. In the same manner, we have another example. She has served the meal. Okay. The work of the meal is completed by her. Okay. The sentence is saying she has served the meal. She has served the meal. Okay. She has completed her work. Okay. So in the both sentences. You can note the one thing which is common in the two picture that is the work is completed. The work is completed. She has watered the plant and she has served the meal. In given picture we have a work in third form. Okay. In the given picture we have a work in the third form. Serve and water which is showing completion. Okay. Which is showing perfection. So, in present perfect tense, we will discuss about the perfection of the work or we can say in another word, the completion of the work. So, here we have some examples like Julia has spilled milk. Unfortunately, Julia has spilled milk. This is the example of present perfect tense. In the same manner, we have another example. I have visited. I have visited Paris three times. I have visited Paris three times. So he have visited Paris three times. Okay. This sentence is showing completion or perfection. In the same manner, the third example is Roshna has taken her meal in the afternoon. She ate the, her meal. She ate her meal and the time is showing the expression in the present time. Okay. The action is showing an expression in the present time because Roshna has taken her meal in the afternoon but the expression of the work is showing in the present time. Now, in the fourth sentence, the court has given its verdict today. Okay? The court has given its verdict today. This sentence also showing the completion or the perfection. Jimmy has attended the business meeting. Jimmy has attended the business meeting. Okay? So, he has attended. He has attended the meeting. Okay. So, this action also shows the past action. But the impression of the action is in the present time. The share has cooked the meal. The share is completed his work. Okay. The share has cooked the meal. The share is completed his work. In the same manner, she has been at work since 6 a.m. She has been at work since 6 a.m. This sentence is also showing the complete or the perfection action. I have learned my lesson. I have learned my lesson. So, this action also showing perfection. Okay. In the same manner, I have drunk two cups of coffee. I have drunk two cups of coffee today. And the last example, he has stopped responding to my emails. He has stopped responding to my emails. 
so all the example is relate to present perfect tense all the example is relate to present perfect tense so basically what is present perfect tense present perfect tense is the tense which is showing perfection which is showing a complete action okay the action has to already place in the past but the expression of the verb is showing in the present time okay okay so here where we can use present perfect tense basically the question is this where we can use present perfect tense so usage of present perfect tense is to show the verb that is recently completed that is recently completed okay example she has just baked a cake she has just baked a cake she has just baked the cake just okay so just word is showing recent complete recent completed word okay in the same manner we have another example for a specific moment of time for a specific moment of time i have lived in the city since 2011 in the third example you say how long action continue how long an action continue he has had a pup for 2 years okay how long actions continue he has had a pup for 2 years in the fourth example to express the time period to express the time period they have been at duty for 8 hours they have been at duty for 8 hours to describe the finish or completed action to describe the finish or completed action okay he has taken the exam today okay we are expecting that he has taken the exam today announcement in media announcement in media like the coronavirus has damaged the economy of the world the coronavirus has damaged the economy of the world so here the various usage of present perfect tense okay now come to the structure of present perfect tense so as we know in the structure we use different helping verb with the different subjects okay so firstly we will work on the subject and helping verb then we will add the main verb okay so here we have a singular subject he she and it we have a singular subject he she and it so with the singular subject we will use helping verb has okay has and have is the helping verb of present perfect tense so basically has is used by singular subject and have is used by plural subject so he she and it we will place first uh, subject of the sentence in the positive structure okay we are follow the positive structure or the positive sentence so for the he she we will use has helping verb then we will use verb as third form third form of verb third form of verb so here we have verb watch so the third form of watch verb is watch 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 so he has was is the right structure she has was is it also right structure it has was all the sentence is right structure when you are using singular subject with has helping verb and the common thing in every subject that the third form of verb the third form of verb in the same manner i you we and they okay i we you and they okay so here we have a plural subject as we discussed before that on the singular subject now we are discussing for plural subject 
in the plural subject we have we, you, they and I also. Okay. So every time we use have with the I. Okay. I is used with have. Then we have a plural subject like we and they and you. So we will use have helping verb. We will use have helping verb with all the subjects. With all the subjects. Then the common thing for every subject that is third form of the verb. Third form of verb. Third form of verb. Okay. So how can we make the sentence? So here we have an example. We have an example. You have watched this movie. You have watched this movie. So here we are fulfilling the condition of present perfect tense. Look at, look at the screen. So here we have, a, <coughs> we have a you subject, and we use the helping verb have with the you subject. Then we are using verb as third form, watched. And then we are using the object. So here we are starting the sentence with you subject. Then we are using the helping verb have as we are fulfilling the condition of present perfect continuous, present perfect tense. And then we are using verb as third form. Then we are using verb as third form. This movie. So the example is you have watched this movie. Now we are going to learn about the negative sentences. So in the negative sentence we are following the same formula as if we are using in the simple sentences. Okay. So here look at the screen. We are starting the structure with the subject. And here we have two category of subject. The first one is singular subject and the second one is plural subject. So, in the singular subject, we are using same helping verb has, okay, he has. And to make it negative, we are using not. To make it negative, we are using not in third place, okay. So, he is the first place of the word. Has helping verb is taking second place of the word and not is taking third place of the word. So he has not, not on the third position. She has not, this is also right. It has not, it is also right. So make it a meaningful sentence. We will use the structure. He has not watched the television. She has not watched the movie. So, this is the first structure in singular subject to make a negative sentence in present perfect tense. Now, come to the plural subject. So, we are following the same formula. Yes, I use with have helping verb. You, we, you and they. So, I and you, we, you and they. So here we have have helping verb as we know that have helping verb is the plural helping verb and we can use it with the plural subject. So we have a plural subject we, we you and they. So what we are doing here? We have not watched this movie. We can make a sentence like this. We have not watched this movie. In the same manner you can say you have not watched this movie. In the same manner, you can say they have not watched this movie. So, this is the classification of both subjects, singular and plural, in the present perfect tense. Now, come to the contracted form of the verb. So, here we are, we have a has not verb helping verb and the contracted form of has not is have and the contracted form of have not is have so we can use the contracted form of verb 
to make any present perfect tense sentence so we can say in another word that he has not watched the television this is right sentence she has not or she hasn't watched the television okay basically contacted form of the helping verb is used in the question tag so this is the structure of negative sentence now how to make question in present perfect tense to make interrogative sentences you will use first helping verb to begin your sentence okay how will you begin your sentence you will start with question uh, with helping verb okay and we know that we have two helping verb in present perfect tense first one is has and second one is have so has is basically used for singular subject and have is used for plural subject and also for i and you so we will start the structure with the helping verb okay so firstly we will put helping verb at the starting of the sentence or the beginning of the sentence so here we are using has helping verb for the singular subject so has e was the television and then interrogative mark has he was the television so i am asking a question from someone has he was television so here i am ending my sentence with the interrogative sign or we can say in a question tag in a question mark now come to the plural subjects have we are fulfilling the uh, or we can say that we are using the same formula have plus plural subject plus verb is third form then object and then interrogation sign or interrogative sign or we can say question mark have you watched tv and then question mark so this is the question have you watched tv if i if i ask someone if i ask from my brother have you watched tv then he can say yes i have watched have you watched the movie pirates of the caribbean he will say yes i watched or he can say i have watched so how to make sentence just we are using the positive sentence to make it question or make it interrogative we are taking the positive sentence so the example of positive sentence is you have watched this movie okay you have watched this movie this is the positive sentence and make it next make it interrogative we will just rotate the two words the first two words okay na we are just change the or we are just exchange the first two words to make it interrogative so here i am making it interrogative have you watched this movie so i am making it question here i am making it question have you watched this movie and i am ending it with the question mark i am ending with the question mark so the difference between these two sentences here i am finished my sentence with the full stop and this is the sign to sign of a positive sentence and here i am finish my sentence with a question mark and this is the sign of question of any question so this is the question format of present perfect tense let's revise the whole lesson